Now, to officially get things rolling, let me introduce to you our first speaker for the welcome remarks. He is a graduate of BS Electronics and Communications Engineering and MS in Electrical Engineering at the University of the Philippines, Diliman. He earned his PhD in Electronic and Electrical Engineering at the University of Southampton in the United Kingdom in 2014. He also served as part of the UB Faculty for Engineering students with interests in digital signal processing for audio and communications. He was also involved in one of the collaborative projects of the DOSC ASTI with the UP Diliman as the project leader for the development of the Philippine Indigenous Instrument Sounds Database, also known as Project Katanog. Last April 15, he was officially sworn into office as the new director of the DOSC ASTI. Please welcome Dr. Francis Junta de Leon. Thank you, Nicole. Good day to everyone who are with us um, in this event. Um, to our colleagues from the Department of Science and Technology, um, Department of, uh, sorry, DOS, the Advanced Science and Technology Institute, um, Secretary Fortunato de la Peña, DOS, the DLLO Director, uh, Lita Suerte Felipe, House Speaker Lord Alan Velasco, Under Secretary Luz. Uh, Luz, Luz, sorry, Luz Verfreda E. Pascual, Under Secretary Jacinto V. Paras, and Assistant Secretary Maria Rowena Flores Saban, Honorable Enrico Aristotel C. Omentado, Committee Secretary on Science and Technology Donald Amado Montes Caballero, and everyone here with us today, I hope you are all in good health. It is with great honor that I welcome you all as we share with you the DOSD Advanced Science and Technology Institute's new developments, initiatives, and coup in the field of microelectronics, information and communications technology, space technology, and other related fields, which were all created for the benefit of our society. Together with DOSD, we have been continuously working to deliver relevant and timely technological innovations that provides ease in everyday life for our fellow Filipinos. The current situation caused by the pandemic has further challenged DOSD ASTI to produce technology-driven solutions that will help make services for our country more um, accessible to people and for the government to provide accurate data and information to the public. Right now, the agency has been providing these services to various parts of country in planning for disaster response agricultural solutions, and satellite imagery, to name a few. In this event, we will be highlighting these services, um, which are the Computing and Archiving Research Environment, or CORE, the Philippine Research Education and Government Information Network, or PREGINET, the Philippine Earth Data Resource and Observation Center, or PEDRO Center, the Philippine um, Applications and Philippine Earth Data Resource Observations or DATOS, Field Sensors, Masid, Gulay, Kuha Mobile and Web Application, and the Enterprise Resource Planning or ERP system. Along with the developers and researchers from DOSD ASTI, we aim to share with our guests and attendees how these innovations work and how they are relevant in the progress of the society. In turn, we also hope that these developments help our respected lawmakers in providing legislative actions to further strengthen research and development in the field of science and technology in the Philippines. We look forward uh, today for everyone to grow more interest and appreciation towards science and technology as we start today's event. Thank you and have a good day. <laughs> 